Hello friends, in the last lesson we learned about union of two sets. In this lesson we shall learn about intersection of two sets. So we take an example, say E is a set of even numbers like 2, 4, 6, 8 and so on and F is a set of multiples of 5 like 5, 10, 15, 20 and so on. Hence E and F has some whole numbers which are in common which is represented through the Venn diagram as given here. As we have seen in the last video, E union F is a set of elements X such that X either belongs to E or X belongs to F. So as the name suggests, it is a union of two sets. This includes the entire red area that is numbers 2, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10, 12 and so on. Now, there are some elements common in E and F. Those elements are there at the common part at the intersection of the two circles as shown in the green part. Say, those elements make a set L. So, L is the intersection of set E and F. We write it like this, E intersection F. The intersection symbol is written like an inverted U. So we say intersection of sets E and F is the set of all elements which are common to both the sets. Remember common to both the sets means X belongs to E and X also belongs to F. So E intersection in this example will have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 and so on that is numbers which are even numbers that is part of set E and also divisible by 5 that is also part of set F. So let's see what kind of whole number is there at intersection of E and F. Is 100 there? We know 100 is an even number it means it belongs to set E and 100 is also a multiple of 5. 20 into 5 is equal to 100. So it belongs to set F also. So 100 will be part of intersection of E and F. Is 112 there in E intersection F? We know 112 is an even number. So it belongs to set E. But 112 is not a multiple of 5. So it doesn't belong to set F. Hence 112 doesn't belong to E intersection F. Let us take another example. Set A has elements 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and set B has elements 3, 6, 9, 12 and 15. So A intersection B would have elements which are common in both the sets. In this case the common number is 3. So a intersection would only have the element 3. Let us take another example. Set A has elements 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. Like we have taken few even numbers here. And set B has 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. We have taken few odd numbers here. So A intersection B would have elements which are common in both the sets and in this example there is no number which is common between both the sets because a number cannot be an even as well as odd hence a intersection b in this case would be a null set denoted by just two curly braces with no elements in between or written like this and in Venn diagram, we represent it as A and B as two circles with no common part because there is no common element between the two or their intersection is a null set or set with no element. So in this case, the set A and B are called disjoint set. That is, they don't have any common element between them and their intersection is a null set. So to summarize, the intersection of two sets A and B is represented as A intersection B, 
which is a set that contains all the common elements between set A and set B. That is all the elements that are present in set A and also present in set B. That's all for now. Bye-bye.